Hey guys, uh, sorry for the slow content updates. Um, just busy with life. Uh, so I've been working on the project when I get a chance. Um, here I am outside of my son's Taekwondo class with a laptop in my lap, uh, testing my Canvas system. Um, so right now I've successfully got a new board made up to basically take in the 12 volt signals from the car. Um, so like the turn signal indicators, all the different uh, idiot lights and stuff. Um, so basically when those go active in the vehicle, and show 12 volt through the system. I have a little board made up now that will translate that into a digital signal for my digital dash. Um, so it's been a bit of a process. Uh, spent some time designing it, uh, soldered up some uh, the proto board, uh, and I'm gonna just use that for now. Um, eventually I'll maybe make um, a PCB specifically for it, but I had all the components on hand, so it just took me some time to uh, go through the process. And it's nice to prove that it works, so that's good. Uh, the idea with this one, it'll be sitting in the dash area, um, basically receiving the signals from the car, um, <clears throat> and then it's going to trans transmit that out on the canvas. Uh, and I should be able to receive all the canvas messages on my Nano that I have set up as kind of a receiver. Uh, that receiver is going to be connected to the Raspberry Pi through serial, uh, USB, I should say. Um, and hopefully I'll get everything kind of coming along. Uh, the van's still not running, I've still got lots of work to do on the bus, so um, is what it is, uh, time is short in my life these days, so uh, just kind of plugging away as I can. So uh, I'll show you a few clips here of the unit working, thanks. Alright, so this is the uh, proto board I made up, um, so you can see here I've got uh, opto isolated inputs, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Um, so they're all set up based on a circuit I found on the Arduino uh, forums um, to receive a 12 volt input and convert it into a Arduino safe digital uh, data. Um, so you can see there I've got the Arduino Nano uh, ticking away. I've also got the MCP2515 module there. Um, soldering's not the greatest, and I changed my design kind of after the first try, and then I eventually got some sockets to put the opto isolators in. So those are PC817 opto isolators, and that basically protects the Arduino and the electronics from the 12 volt si si signals. Sorry. Um, so you can see here there's my little Arduino receiver that I've used in the past. Um, so this one's just going to be plugged into USB on my Raspberry Pi. Um, it's kind of like it just seemed easier than, than connecting the Raspberry Pi to uh, the MCP2515. Uh, I might add some more processing into that, but I think I'll just leave it to decipher the messages and, and output them. Um, so you can see the back here, it's all kind of finely soldered. Huh. Um, not the prettiest, but it works, so um, so far so good. I'll, I'll kind of try and clean it up a bit before I attach it in the vehicle. Um, and I'll secure the wiring and stuff, make sure there's no interference, but um, not pretty, but it works. So um, more or less happy with that. Um, so you can see here, uh, right now I've got, this is the, board here that I made with the opto isolators. So they're just basically taking in all the um, all the data from the opto isolators over here. Uh, when there's 12 volt applied, it goes from one to a zero. Um, you can just kind of ignore that for now. Uh, and then it's transmitting through Canvas. And here's the serial feed on that. So I've got it set up in a JSON format. This is gonna feed into Node Red. And uh, from there, I will display it onto the dashboard. Uh, so when I go, uh, when I apply 12 volts to any of these, it's going to turn to 1 to a 0, and then I'll basically code it into no red uh, to, when that happens, um, turn on the indicator light. Uh, so hopefully it works out alright, uh, work in progress, I will update uh, things on GitHub eventually too, um, but for now, um, that's kind of where I'm at. Also want to say a quick thanks to all the new subscribers, um, thanks for checking out the channel, uh, I'm hoping to get some more content out, uh, apologies for, for the time delays, uh, I know a lot of people are... Uh, looking back into this project and hoping it progresses uh, and I'd love to make that happen um, slowly and surely. Uh, like I said, I've got most of my code up on you, uh, GitHub, um, so you can follow along there. You can always reach out and message me or yeah, comment below if you have any questions. Uh, like I said, definitely a work in progress, uh, but it is progress, uh, little steps. Anyways, um, check back later for more. Thanks guys. Bye.